you ready to layer up? This week we're diving into the world of timeline layers for a clean and organised edit. Ah. Video layers are an essential part of professional video editing as they allow you to have complete control over the structure of each frame of your project. Think of each layer as a level in which you can manipulate an aspect of the video. These layers can be individually controlled and edited, for example, changing their position on screen or perhaps adding visual effects without affecting other layers above or beneath, meaning you have precise control over the compositions and effects you create within your storytelling. However, when you're working with multiple layers, it's easy to quickly get so consumed in making an individual scene look good here in the preview that you get sloppy and disorganized with your work on the timeline and end up with a messy and unorganized project that's frankly all over the place. Trust us, we've all done it, but this can lead to difficulties down the line when you need to make changes. So how do we best utilize video layers in LumaFusion to build a timeline edit that's easy to alter, change and build upon as we form our story? Well, it all comes down to building a project that has structural integrity. And by that, I mean editing your story from the ground up, building and honing its foundations first here on the main track before adding layer upon layer of media. It might help to think of the main track as the backbone of your project. Without it, it would just totally fall apart. It's there to form your story structure. We add to our main track generally our most important media, which might take the form of, for example, a shot sequenced film for a television advert, a conversation between two people who are recording a podcast, or perhaps a set of in-depth interviews taken as part of a documentary series. So let's have a look at this in practice. Let's take a news report, for example. Our reporter would be on the main track here, speaking to camera and telling audiences what's happening at the scene. This is our most important footage as it's telling the story. Split, trim and adjust your content to make sure this is secure and in place before moving on. As we then start to pad out our edit, we then add B-roll or supplementary footage to the track above, which is there to enhance the footage below it. In this example here, we might cut between the clip of the reporter and the B-roll, which visually describes what they're explaining on the main track. Next, we go on to add text, perhaps subtitles, again adding another layer to this story and helping to describe the footage on the tracks below. Next, we have the graphics which are going to add to this footage, perhaps a lower third for our reporter and another layer for a company logo. We can see that each visual layer is there to complement what lies below, with the main track forming the strong foundations of the story. And when we see how built up a timeline can get with all these layers, we can just appreciate how important it is to take the time to ensure the content on the main track is edited well and how we like it before adding to our story in the tracks above. Now, when we're working with audio tracks below, the same is true as above. The closer you get to the main track, the more crucial the media. So for example, I might use this track closest to the main track here to add a voiceover, as that's literally telling the story of my news report. Then the next track might be a music bed to add energy to the feature. And next I could add any sound effects or jingles to sit in the track below. Each audio clip is literally an additional layer of storytelling that complements the other pieces of media which lie between it and that of the main track. Editing like this, as opposed to randomly putting layers wherever we feel like it, not only gives us as editors more control, a cleaner timeline and a better view of how our story unfolds, but the ability to easily adjust multiple clips at once. For example, I can alter the volume of the B-roll in one go, or I can even lock all the logos in one place while I make timeline adjustments. So let's stack those clips like a pro and keep our timelines tidy for a stress-free and coherent editing experience.